welcome back. It's your host, Richard Prophet. <laughs> Apex Predator, Last Dragon. <laughs> I'm at my la uh, Lake Mayaka Park with, with my buddy, Jin. And we're just like, look at the beautifulness, beautifulness of the, the lake. The birds, the sun, and the sky. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Cheers, family. Yeah, welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. I am your host, Richard Prophet, The Last Dragon. And thanks for joining me, man. Thanks for joining me. I really... I was going to put this video out, uh, like, on Sunday, but, you know, this... I, I can't wait. And, hey, if I release this video a couple of days early, a few days early, and if it saves just one person, then it was worth it. Cheers, family. Cheers to all my family out there, all the YouTube family. Now, the two biggest scams in Miami-Dade County. Uh, for those of you operating in the real estate space in Miami-Dade, uh, probably already know this. Well, you at least know the number one. For anyone, anybody that's followed this channel, for more than, you know, two minutes, knows what the biggest scam in Miami Dade is. I made a video about it. Uh, I'm not, this video is not for that. I'm not gonna go into it. I'll leave that video at the end here uh, if you wanna check it out. But just real quick, just for review, the biggest scam in Miami Dade uh, is the AC, is the AC mechanics, right? That's the biggest scam in the whole Miami-Dade County. Um, listen, man, whether you, whether, you, whether you just starting out as a real estate investor, uh, whether you're an experienced real estate investor, but you're from like up back north or you, New York, Boston, you know, any other place other than down south. So as you can see, we're still in my condo here in Miami. I live in New York, but you know, I'm back and forth I spend I split my time between New York and Florida. So this is particular to Florida. This video is particular to Florida. So uh, most of my career, I've been an investor in New York. Uh, but now we started to branch out to other states. Uh, and particularly in Florida. So we're in Miami, we're in Bradenton, we're in Sarasota, and we're in Jacksonville. Uh, so... But a lot of the stuff that goes on, you know, scams in New York are different from the scams in Florida. Scams in Jacksonville could be different from the scams in, you know, Miami. So this particular video is covering pretty much Miami-Dade. So the number one scam in Miami-Dade, we all know, is the air conditioner mechanic. We all know that. I'll include that video at the end of this video here. But now I just discovered a new scam. Which I found like the difference in money was so disgusting that I had to make a video about it. All right, so I printed out my, my, uh, my work orders. So we're gonna jump right into it. So I had a little a mold issue in a in a building in in Miami, right? So whatever, we get into it. So I, I send a company out to go check it out, right? Okay. So the company comes out and says, oh, you know, this is mildew issues, probably behind the walls, this and that, all this other crap. Uh, you got to rip the whole wall down, all the tiles in the bathrooms got to come out. It's probably coming from you know, either the tenant upstairs, upstairs or the tenant on top of that tenant. We don't know yet. We have to find out where the leak is, but you're, you're, you know, minimally we'll have to rip down the walls, open up the ceiling, do all this work. And it's going to be thousands and thousands of dollars, right? 
Okay, no problem. So I said, you know what? I've never ever had an insurance claim on a piece of real estate, right? But I said, you know what? This is gonna be all these thousands of dollars. I'm new in the state of Florida. Let me make, uh, you know, let me see how it goes. Let me, let, me, let me call my insurance, see what they say. Okay, boom. We call the insurance. They say, okay, how, you know, what is the damage? I say, you know, I'm not really sure. And this is my issue. We have some mold, we have some mildew. And they say, okay, um, well, did you, did you determine where the leak is coming from? He said, yeah, well, we had this company come out and they said uh, that the, the leak could be coming up from here, from there. And they said, you know, let me stop you there. The number one thing you first have to do is to get a leak detection company out there to find the leak. Uh, okay, uh, you know, me coming from New York, I've never even heard of that. Uh, in New York, we just use plumbers. They take care of the whole bid. But out here in Florida, apparently there's companies that solely do leak detection. Solely, that's all they do. And then, which report back to the insurance. And then there's also the hybrid companies which do leak detection and the plumbing. And then they have the leak detection companies with recommended plumbers. Okay, boom. So we go, we find a leak detection company, which also has a plumber because we figure, you know, kill two birds, one stone, they'll get it done. Boom. Okay, great. They say, oh, for us to come out, uh, we got to come with the, we, we got to come out first. Okay. They come out. They go, they go into the apartment. The, the, the mold issue is in the bathroom. They go to the bathroom. Oh yeah, wow, you have mold here. Yeah, this looks like a big job. Okay, uh, you know, thank you for what I already know. And when we come out, it's free. There's no charge to come out. Okay, come on out. Comes out, yeah, there's mold here. Okay, and uh, they called me on the phone because I wasn't in Florida. They call me on the phone. Uh, yeah, you have mode here, but we have to uh, find out where the leak is. Uh, so we have to come with the cameras. We got to come with a couple other guys. We got to do this. We got to do that. We got to find out. And that's three hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, OK, go ahead. Do that. OK. Boom. They come out the next day. Few guys, you know, they got they got a little cars wrapped. Uh, but these guys, you know, they don't have any uniforms on or nothing. I'm looking at them in the cameras, right? So they don't have any uniforms or anything on. They look like they got these guys from off the corner. But okay, whatever. They come in. They say, uh, they come in, they, they, they're a few minutes, and they call us back, and they say, okay, yeah, we found the leak. And, uh, oh, they opened up a hole in the ceiling of the, the young lady's bathroom. And they said the leak is coming from the unit directly above her. And, and uh, you know, they, they it's coming from, and they know how to fix it or whatever. Okay, boom. And they're the plumbing company as well, so they can fix it, okay? And for us coming out to find the leak is $350. Okay, no problem. So I say, okay, send me, send me uh, the receipt. And and uh, and the bill and the breakdown of what you did and what you found and where's the leak and what you're gonna do to repair it and how much you know the proposal and everything of what the job's gonna cost and the receipt for the three hundred fifty dollars. Okay, boom, we're gonna send you that. So I didn't get any proposal. I didn't get any pictures. I didn't get any estimates of work. All I got was a link to pay the bill. And I'm calling back, listen, all you sent me was a link to pay the bill. You didn't send me the proposal. Oh, okay, well, we're out of the office. We'll send it to, to you tomorrow. I said, okay. So I start thinking, I sit back and I'm thinking, I'm in New York, I'm start thinking, man, this is a huge job. This is gonna be this and that. Let me shoot on out there because I had to be I had to be down in Florida anyway. Got some other things going on. Uh, but let me take care of this before I go handle everything else. So I'm on the next thing smoking and I'm out to Florida.
Tschüss. Tschüss.